as you know, uh, I've been to Flint about 13 times, and Governor Rick Snyder, uh, who is now exiting, uh, and I think might have some legal problems now that he's exiting, uh, his, his, his term limit is up. Well, uh, Governor-elect, who will take office uh, you know, in the new year, Gretchen Whitmer, has pledged to bring back bottled water for Flint. So that's the free bottled water. Uh, if you follow my reporting, in April of last year, uh, Governor Snyder uh, shut down the remaining four free water pods in Flint. The water pods were the stations in Flint uh, during the water crisis that residents, majority poor, could go get cases of bottled water. They don't just drink the, with bottled water, but they brush their teeth with bottled water. They boil their water with bottled water. They, um, a lot of them actually take baths with bottled water. I mean, some people take a bath and have to dump in like a hundred something bottled water just to take a bath. Um, so that's been shut down since April. And I have been there twice since April and seen the devastation up close, the further devastation. So... Uh, Democratic Governor-elect Whitmer told Michigan Advance in an exclusive interview this month that she will have her administration distribute bottled water until all lead pipes are replaced. Lead contaminated Flint's water supply after state-appointed emergency managers. I don't need to read that part. You get it. Uh, Whitmer stressed the need to attract investment to the city. The governor-elect said she will work with local and federal leaders to make sure that I've got a great person who directly works with me to help me in the Flint recovery. Uh, Whitmer told the advance that Mona Hanna Atisha, who is the pediatrician that uh, blew the lid on this, is someone that has been such a leader and has the confidence and trust of the people of Flint. So I'll keep it real. Oh, let's see. What are you planning to do differently in Flint than the Snyder administration? Well, I'm going to work with Mayor Karen Weaver and Congressman Dan Kildee, our United States senators and local leadership, to make sure that I've got a great person who directly works with me to help the Flint help Flint recovery. But it's got to be someone that the mayor has confidence in and that we're going to share information and make sure that we have bottled water until the pipes are all finished being replaced. But I also I also I have to th- But also, I think having a longer term view in terms of how do we get a greater investment into Flint? How do we get great employers to come to Flint and make sure that there's opportunity for the people of Flint? So she's saying all the right things. I don't love her record. She took a hell of a lot of money from uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield, which is, you know, basically an insurance cartel, if you ask me. But credit where credit is due. She is saying the right things and pledging to do the right things so far. I certainly will keep her, keep her honest on that. But just think of this. If, if you followed our report, Jen and my report, where we knocked on 450 doors, we have proven that Rick Snyder's environmental agency, it's not clear if Rick Snyder knew about it, literally cooked the data. They cooked the water lead data by artificially flushing residents' water lines in Flint. We found they flushed the water lines in at least, at least 35 homes in Flint, which gives you a false reading. If you were watching on Sunday, we aired the new introduction to our documentary that Ty is working night and day on to finish. Frankly, I think that documentary is badass, and I might, I I just watched the whole thing, I might be trying to sell it to someone somewhere like Netflix, uh, possibly, because I think it's that good. So we have proof that the numbers have been falsified. With those falsified numbers, the governor of Michigan shut down the water pod, citing those falsified numbers. We have had Representative Tulsi Gabbard come out and say, our reporting means there should be an investigation. We have had Representative Ro Khanna come out and say the same thing. We have had um, Alyssa Milano, uh, an activist and celebrity, Susan Sarandon, many others. If I'm keeping it real, we have sent this to Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. We have sent this to Congresswoman-elect Rashida Tlaib. We have sent this to Congressman Elijah Cummings. They have not said anything yet. I don't know why. Like, in fairness, I didn't talk to... Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez directly about it. I talked to one of her advisors. 
In fairness, well, actually, no. Congresswoman elect Rashida Tlaib actually just responded directly to me. So Elijah Cummings, who's going to be the, rent, the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, who has called for further investigation of Rick Snyder. I have spoken with his press secretary multiple times. For some reason, none of these people have come out publicly about this, even though two U.S. congressmen have. Frankly, I see a lot of tweets of, of selfies and stupidity from a lot of people in, in Congress that I have sent this to. And, and it's, there is nobody questioning our, our reporting. There is nobody who has questioned our report. Bas basically, in a nutshell, the state of Michigan, both Rick Snyder and his environmental agency, their response to our reporting was not saying our facts are wrong, was not saying there's, you know, we're making things up, was saying the residents that we spoke to on the record are confused. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new to watching this, here's our story where we broke the massive news from old school journalism that you helped fund through our GoFundMe. We knocked on 450 doors. We found that the state environmental agency illegally tested in at least 35 homes. Aaron Brockovich is on the record in our story calling it criminal, saying all the testing needs to be thrown out, saying all the water pods need to be restored and new testing needs to be done citywide while a criminal investigation goes on. We found this from knocking on doors. We have paperwork to prove it and on the record interviews with 150 residents. But we cannot get, there's the link to the story if you haven't read it. I mean, Aaron Brockovich has said this is the biggest environmental scandal in America. For some reason, I can't get Elijah Cummings to publicly comment on this. For some reason, frankly, I can't get newly elected progressives to comment on this. I don't know why. I, I've even offered to speak with these newly elected progressives. So, you know, everybody's busy, but this is not a small thing. There are people drinking water because the state shut down the water pods. There are people drinking water from the tap because they don't have access to clean water. There are people drinking water from the tap because they were told that the testing and the data shows the water's fine. Well, we found in dozens of homes that that was falsified because state environmental agencies went into homes, let the water run, in some cases for several minutes, and then put the sample bottle in and took it, which is totally against the EPA's regulations. You're supposed to not have the water in use at all for at least six hours, and then you're supposed to turn the tap on and take it right away. When you let the water run, you're basically flushing out the evidence. And why this is so important, this news that they're getting uh, bottled water service back, which is, you know, you have to give credit. I don't love Gretchen Whitmer's whole record. I don't like her donations from Blue Cross Blue Shield, a, a lot of money, but you have to give, hey, if somebody's establishment, I'm going to give them credit if they do the right thing. We can't be totally, you know, nuclear, uh, never give anyone credit for anything. She's doing the right thing by restoring the bottled water, but I would like to see her spearhead this investigation into our reporting because she knows about our reporting, because she's on the record in our story.